Cork Airport officially opened on the 16th of October 1961 and for the past 60 years it's been connecting passengers from right across the south of Ireland with the rest of the world. But every 20 or 30 years a major runway of this scale needs major reconstruction and so it is with the main jet capable runway here at Cork Airport. This is the fastest large-scale construction project in the state in years. Projects of this scale normally take about three years. We're doing this in one year, from funding approval to completion, so this is in record fast time. We've done an OJEC, which is an official journal of the European Commission tender process, which normally takes nine months. We've done a full design. We've had to get all of our regulatory approvals from a safety and a security perspective. And you can imagine in airport context, they're huge. And we've done all of our geotechnical surveys, underground surveys to see underground conditions and so on. And so this is about investing in our infrastructure so that we can connect people, connect places, uh, and grow the Irish tourism once again, back to the levels it was. My name is Frederick Gardas. I'm the, the chairman and CEO of Colas. Uh, Colas is, uh, we believe, is the biggest uh, specialized uh, company uh, in infrastructure construction. Uh, working on, on uh, airports is very important for us. It's one of our specialties. It's something we do all over the world. And securing this type of contract, of course, is uh, of paramount importance for us. There aren't that many companies that can handle projects this size. Phase two of the walks will take place between the 13th of September and the 22nd of November and will include a full uh, rehabilitation of the runway pavement, an upgrade of all of our manhole and ducting systems that supply our airfield ground lighting. Two of the key elements for us on the project are achieving energy efficiency and uh, minimising waste uh, production. There was a number of options of how we could do it. We could do it at night or Alternatively, we could look at a full closure. Collectively, we agreed that the full closure was the best option for us to get the job done as quickly as possible, minimising our impact on airport operations. I'm David Fraser. I'm the COAS Project Director for the rehabilitation of the Cork Runway Project. I've been working in aviation for over 40 years. 1982 was the first time I ever worked on an airfield pavement. I've been involved in some of the most major airfields in the UK, from the very north of Scotland to the very south of England and various other parts. I feel very lucky and privileged to do this job. What I would say is that I've never had the chance or the experience of working in a, such a large commercial airfield that's chosen to shut down to allow us to rebuild it. Difficult to pinpoint what the challenge was, you know, uh, but certainly the fast pace, the programme, the timing, the, 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 the pure volume of material that we needed, you know, uh, 100,000 metres of cable, you know, 400 pits, you know, 47,000 tonne of asphalt, you know, 3,000 tonne of dry lean concrete. We planed out 20, 30,000 tonnes of material. All our subcontractors here, very few of them have ever worked together before, but yet we integrated that team integrated it with Cork Airport's own team, Cork Airport's own staff, with their security, their engineering team, their operational team, their police force, you know, and everyone tied together, which made the difficult parts easier, much, much easier. I'm not saying it was easy, it's definitely not easy, and I don't think anyone that's been a part of this project would say it's easy. Uh, it's definitely been challenging, but it's been challenging with a bit of excitement, and a bit of pride in what we're doing because we know that certainly in my lifetime and most of the people in this project, you'll never see a project like this again. Our day kicks off with a 6.30 a.m. meeting to discuss construction works planned for that day and any associated issues that need special consideration to help complete the works. We reconvene each evening to review progress, discuss any issues encountered during the day and plan for the next work shift. Safety on site is paramount and each day starts and finishes with us. We plan, review, execute and analyse work to ensure that they are completed in a safe manner for one and all. In order to deliver this project in the very challenging programme, we have drawn on our best technical teams across Atkins. All parties have worked really hard to achieve this challenging programme. Good working collaboration between Colas, Atkins and DAA is a big contribution to the success of this project. 
So on this scheme, we are Colas's nominated surfacing subcontractor. So that involves us supplying and delivering the placement of 47,000 tonnes of Marshall Asheville for this scheme. That translates to roughly 5,000 truck movements back and forth to our Rossmore depot. On a daily basis here, we have 60 plus men on site, the majority of whom are Cork based. We were lucky where we have been involved in two previous schemes with the DEA, which allowed us to have an awful lot of internal expertise, which we drew on for this scheme. There's numerous challenges on this scheme, varying from ones in our control and not in our control. We've no influence over weather, and the major challenges in our control are logistical. We have to coordinate 60 plus men on a daily basis and delivery of up to 2,000 tonne of material per day on site. This is our fourth airport, international airport project in the last two years. There's circa 400 pits on the, on the project, um, varying in size from probably 2.5 up to 4.5 tonnes, all different layouts for penetrations and duct sizes. The project has particular challenges, as in it is high paced with a very, very short programme. The installation of the cabling relies an awful lot on Colas producing the infrastructure for the electrical contractor to put in his primary and secondary cabling. There is 106,000 metres of main flysy cable with 50,000 metres of secondary cabling. We have an excess of 500 new lights with the addition of existing 250 lights to be added in on circuits. The pride amongst the team it is palpable and you can see it. I mean, this is the single largest, biggest infrastructure project done in the state in, in a number of years. Um, and it's on time, it's on budget, and you've got a very committed team right behind it. So, huge sense of pride for what they've done. Garrod Lohan is my name. Uh, I am CEO of Colas Ireland. Uh, this has been an exciting project for, for Colas. It's allowed Colas bring its international and global expertise in the area of airfield and airport runway construction to Ireland and work with the teams here in Ireland in terms of the delivery of this uh, significant project for Ireland. One significant characteristic that I have observed uh, with this contract has been the collaborative nature of it between the client, Cork Airport, ourselves and our supply partners. There has been a great team effort and great collaboration between all parties to bring this project in on time and on budget. I'm Carl Ferguson. I've been the Chief Executive Officer of Colas for three years, but I've been with Colas for more than 30 years. And in that time, I've been responsible, most notably for the development of the uh, aviation business in uh, Colas in the UK. Uh, we've completed many fast track projects and also very, very high profile projects as some of the world's busiest uh, airports. So yeah, I'm really pleased to be uh, here today at Cork Airport following the completion of the uh, runway infrastructure project. It's been a massive undertaking, uh, one that uh, we've completed successfully uh, and in full collaboration and in a really collegiate uh, fashion with the, uh, the client uh, Cork Airport. Uh, it's been a real success. Um, both in terms of uh, the execution of the project. It's had some challenges, not least the, uh, the weather, but uh, really pleased to have been uh, part of this uh, massive uh, and really important infrastructure project here in Cork. Um, it's been fast track, the logistics have been uh, really phenomenal, but uh, everyone involved in the project has worked and pulled together to get this done on time. Uh, and really importantly, the, uh, the quality has been really impressive as well. Uh, doing a project of this scale is uh, no uh, mean undertaking. Uh, to a high standard of quality is really important to us. It's a uh, right first time uh, approach has been uh, really seen throughout this project as well. Real good job, testament to everybody involved. 